I'm an administrator in the Department of Homeland Security. In order to keep my identity a secret, I will have to remain vague about exactly which office I work for. I was recently taken on a tour of the facility that I think the world needs to know about, hidden in the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act is Title 30. 3X once meant dangerous poison. Now the government will use the term on us under Title 30 and Section 3002, under Subtitle A Subsection C states that one area for future consideration is biosurveillance, this project is not under future consideration. It was put in motion as soon as the Reinvestment Act was signed into law on February 17, 2009. I was assigned to this project in early March of 2009. Many of the details are hidden from me in my position, but I will do my best to tell you all I know. First $15 million have been allotted for personnel for this project through 2013. In addition to that we have $180 million to build facilities, facilities like this one which are put up virtually overnight. The foundation was laid the last week of February 2009, and was completed April 1. The building is made mostly of reinforced concrete, and is easily prefabricated and assembled on site. I took these pictures during my second tour of the site in late May of 2009. The first time I was brought to the building I thought it was strange to be brought in through this loading dock area. Once I looked down the other sides of the building it became clear that this was the only entrance, there were no other doors. The building looks perfectly normal from the outside, except for the fact that it is located in an abandoned industrial area. One thing that made me extremely suspicious was that once I was inside there was not a single window in sight. The windows on the outside of the building are literally window dressing. Once inside it is a maze of corridors with nice modern looking prefabricated walls and bare cement floors. Every door requires an 8 digit combination, a regular key and an RFID badge. The bottom floor was completely empty but many of the spaces on the second floor were occupied. Like this lab. It contained many of these specialized medical tables. They were all covered by black curtains, so I was unable to see if there was anything on them. What is this equipment for? Why does this building have only one entrance and only fake windows? What does it have to do with biosurveillance? I do not know the complete answers to these questions. But I do know that as of June 3, 2009 there are six of these facilities that have been or will be completed soon. The government is clearly planning something big, and all the answers are being tightly compartmentalized which makes it difficult for one person to see the whole picture. I want to get my piece of the picture out so that others might be compelled to add their pieces to it.